Bom dia a todos and welcome back to Pro Soccer Major 2019 uh, for a new race on the channel. Um, you're used to having the Baron career mode or uh, the World Tour races, uh, but uh, recently uh, I received a message from one of the of the viewers, uh, just like I guess thanking me for my content, uh, which I mean was extremely nice, uh, and he said that uh, his favorite team was W52 FC Porto. Uh, so I figured that um, kind of like not a reward, but as a token of my gratitude, uh, I would like sometimes do some races that you guys want me to do. Um, I know like Benji, for example, Benji Nazan uh, is doing some continental races. He's done um, like the uh, Spanish trophies early on the season. Uh, I don't know if he's doing Algarve. He might be doing Andalusia. I, I, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, uh, I decided to do the uh, Volta or Algarve today. Um, it's not the uh, parkour of this year, sadly. It's not in the game. Uh, I think this is last year's. It's quite similar though. There's still a time trial from Lagoa to Lagoa, but this one will be the final stages. Final stage, sorry. Um, but yeah, we'll do one stage every day. Uh, so I'm hoping that you lot will enjoy it. Now the team we'll be taking obviously will be WF W52 Porto. It's not a great team, uh, let's be honest. They've got Joe Rodriguez. Amaron Tunes, they you know, used to write for CCC, Ricardo Mestre, Edgar Pinto, Daniel Mestre, uh, Samuel Cardera, and uh, Jorge Magalhães. Magalhães, sorry. It's not the best team. Uh, if anything, it's like the second, one of the worst teams actually on the on the start list. But hopefully we can do anything, uh, we can do something. Ineos are coming with the big, the big guns. We've got Dennis, Thomas Kutkowski, uh, Remke Venepoel is there for the Konank. Uh, it's it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but... I, I like myself a, a challenge. So before we start, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button down below, that would really mean a lot. If, so if there's any race you want me to do uh, with a specific team, uh, tell me which race and why in the comments. And if there's plenty of comments, I'll, uh, I'll like see which one I'd like to do and for which reasons. Uh, but with enough, uh, enough talking, let's go for one week of racing in Portugal. And we're on the way for this first stage of the Volta a Algarve uh, between Albufera and Lagos. Uh, I think the real stage is Portimonense Lagos. I could be wrong though. I think it's that. Uh, but then, as I said, like the race is fairly similar similar to last year's, um, with the Queen stage being the exact same, which is tomorrow's stage between uh, Sagres and Loga. Wait. Uh, oh yeah, again, I can't see that. I think it's something like that. Maybe Sagres to fall out, like something along those lines. Um, now, having a continental and uh, Portuguese team, we're going to send someone in the breakaway. Uh, we need to show the colors and that. Um, anyone in the breakaway that I need to worry about for the points? Uh, oh, Joel Maida, mate. Don't go in the break. You're riding for, for the Conan. You're not allowed to do such a thing. Uh, I would have liked to send Mestre, but he's my sprinter. Uh, then I've got, you know what, we're going to send Mestre, but the other one. Let's send uh, Mestre R. Oh, I'm going to get Ricardo Mestre. Uh, it's a very Portuguese name, I think. Uh, some attacks, though. We've got De Bond here for uh, Alpes and Phoenix. Martin, Martin Gil for... Is that Sporting Tavira? Because I'm seeing Tavira on the mini, on, like, the, the mini shirt. Wait, where's Mestre, mate? I told you to fucking attack. What is he doing? Um... Oh no, it's Atom General Tavira. Is Sporting Tavira not a thing anymore? Uh, have they, like, are they dead? Okay, uh, Mestre trying to attack. Peloton isn't keen on letting this go. Uh, okay, well, we'll try uh, a bit later on then. There's been a crash. Uh, also, we are not able to catch a breakaway, uh, which is really embarrassing. Like, come on, mate, I just want to go in the fucking break. Why am I not allowed to do that? Uh, but yeah, there was a crash in, uh, involving Kisbol. Uh, Casper Pedersen and Maluccelli, I think. So quite an important crash uh, because the two sprinters from Sunweb and um, and uh, Carroral have gone down. Uh, the person is now willing to let me go, but because I have no energy and I'm way too close to the KOM, I don't think I'll be able to catch the breakaway. So it's not a good start of the day for now for uh, W52 Porto. And the breakaway is going to fight for uh, the six points given at the uh, Errada Cevada. Uh, I think it's... 
Mereles who got points at the first one. No, actually, it was uh, Dries de Bont who got the points at the first comp. Uh, and he's going to get the points at the second. That's 10 points today for Dries de Bont. Actually, 11. Ahead of uh, Daniel Hulgaard, the seventh, and Nuno Mereles with two. Okay. Uh, Mestre has been, like, chasing the breakaway for the, from the get-go. We were at one point very close. We were, like, seven or eight seconds behind. Uh, and, and then they started pacing. Never was able to, to, to catch them, which is a shame. Uh, but I guess now it's a good time for me to uh, focus on the uh, the final sprint. Breakaway is 3 minutes and 20 minutes in the lead. Sorry, 3 minutes and 20 minutes? No, 3 minutes and 20 seconds in the lead. Uh, and we have 102 kilometers prior to reaching Lagos. Right, we've been playing cat and mouse with Breakaway for quite a while now. Um, like, it, the gap has been under 30 seconds for a solid 30 kilometers. And I think now is the time to check the start list, because I did see what was going on with Ineos, but I haven't checked the other teams. Uh, so we've got Alpes in Phoenix with Mathieu van der Poel, we've got Yves Lampard for De Koninck, or mainly um, Remco van der Poel, and Jakobsen for today's sprint. That's uh, an important thing I need to worry about, it's the, con the competition for the sprints. We've got Philippe Gilbert with Lotto Soudal, not a good team. Vincent Sonibedi, Bauke Mollema uh, for Trek Fredo, that's huge. Dan Martin for Israel Startup Nation, Ron Dennis, Mahal Ketkowski, Garin Thomas for Ineos, I hate them, uh, Maximilian Schachmann for Bora Hansgrohe with Leonard Kemner and Felix Groschartner, decent team, UAE with uh, GC leader, I'm gonna go with Jan Polank, I believe, uh, yeah, Jan Polank and, uh, and Jordan Ronski, Rui Costa on his, on his staff though, maybe uh, able to, uh, to do something, we never know, uh, actually let me just get water with Samuel Caldera, there we go. Uh, who else we have? We've got uh, CCC and Matteo Trenton uh, and Valerie Matt as well. Uh, okay, FDG have literally got no one. Uh, this Elia Viviani for Cofidis. He's going to try and win his first stage uh, as a rider for uh, the French team. Megan Rel Lopez for Astana Pro Cycling. Uh, Zandro Meresa for Wansi Group Gobert. I'm not very familiar with the uh, lineup of uh, Carol. I know Abirasu is a sprinter. I don't know if they were anyone able to climb, uh, and uh, no, they do not. Okay, Sunweb with uh, no one able to climb as well. We've got Joe Rodriguez and Amaro Antunes as our two leaders, uh, and then the Portuguese teams, which I'm not gonna lie, I don't know a lot of riders. Is that David de la Fuente? If that's David de la Fuente, then uh, I mean it could be like he's got stats of a, he's got the stats of an old rider, so that could be uh, David de la Fuente. The former rider for, uh, from Astana, teammate of Alberto Contador, when he used to win Tour de France before uh, eating steaks. Sorry to everyone who, who likes Contador, right? That's not a dig. I'm just still not over the fact that he uh, he won the Tour de Like Probably could have won had he not um, been a dickhead and not able to repair a chain. <laughs> it's It's been haunting my head for like the past, what, 10 years now? Love that. Uh, yeah, okay, the other teams from Portugal, I'm afraid I do not have any knowledge uh, of them and UNOX with uh, the uh, Hulgard brothers as they come with every fucking tour. Uh, also, Lechnes Unsizer, Scar Sith. Uh, I remember doing a career mode with, uh, with UNOX. Actually, no, I was, uh, I, was a pro cyclist. I was a pro cyclist with UNOX. It was one of the most boring careers of my life because I, f I mean, I, I don't like fat terrains and what do I do? I take a Finnish player in Norway. I mean, yeah. Not my wisest decision. Okay, uh, we've got three riders dropped. Yen Tobiermans, Florian Seneschal, and Fabio Sabatini. They have not been dropped because of a crash. They were just dropped on pure pace, which is extremely odd, especially for someone like Florian Seneschal, who I don't expect him to be dropped at this point. Um, but I mean, that's going to be a, that's, that's good for me, I guess. That's one rider uh, less to worry about for uh, El Finale Sprint. Okay, what is my train though? What is gonna be my train? We're gonna have Mestre behind Caldera. Uh, well, Ricardo Mestre. Uh, Caldera behind, behind Amaro and Tunes. We're gonna have uh, Joao Rodriguez behind Mestre because he's my leader and I don't want him to crash or anything. Uh, Antunes behind Edgar Pinto. Or Evo Pinto. I think it's Edgar. Uh, I could be wrong, again, I'll try to learn the names for the next episode. Um, also, I'm recording this, like, I think it's going to be uploaded in about an hour. So, yeah. Oh shit, I'm in times two. Alright, Pinto. 
uh, we can accelerate to like a solid 90 now. We're going to be uh, overtaking the train of Cofidis with uh, Luis Angel Mate and uh, Mathias Le Tournier, Michael Bierg is there for UAE Emirates. Uh, are they sprinting for Christophe? I think. I think they are, yeah. Yeah, they are. Alright, let's go 99 with uh, Edgar Pinto. We'll soon uh, have the same rhythm with Amaro Antunes. There he goes. The former rider for CCC. Let's try not to block my entire team. That would be nice. And the final sprint is now underway. Samuel Caldera in the wheel of Amaro Antunes. And we start the sprint. Ricardo Mestre in the wheel of Caldera. It's going to be a close battle. We're probably not going to be able to get the win. Knowing that uh, someone like Fabio Jacobson is here. But the win today will be for Mr... Uh, mate, that's a fucking close finish. Elia Vianney gets the win ahead of Jacobson. Christophe van der Poel turns Trent in Bull. Van, Papel, van Popel, sorry. Daniel Mestre finishes in 9th position with David Echimelay to complete the top 10. Joe Rodriguez in 11th. Uh, Caldera in 16th. And Amber Antunes in 20th. Uh, okay. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. 9th uh, is not a very high position. I'd love to agree with that. But then the sprinters ahead of me are all much better than I am. Like, I have 71 in sprint. They've got at least 75 for all of them. So, I can't really complain, can I? And Elia Vianney gets his first ever win. As a Kofidis, rather, the European champion finally winning. Uh, it's been a month and a half for him. That's a long time now. Uh, Fabio Jacobsen gets second with Christoph and Van Der Poel to... Uh, well, they finished on the same line. I'm just trying to, like, see their stats in, in sprint, but... Yeah, it's been, I've, I've done well. I think I've done well. Uh, like, genuinely, in the top 15... Actually, let's go... Yeah, in the, in the top 17, the worst sprinter is... Like, the three worst sprinters are from my team. So, I can't... Yeah, I can't really complain about that. Uh, why does it say stage 4? Is, is something... Okay. Right, I think this game's fucked, but why not? Uh, okay, Vianney takes the lead, so the GC is as so. Viviani, Christoph Jacobsen, Martin Gill, Chimolai, Hulgard, Tunes, De Bont, Van der Poel, and Matteo Trentin. Uh, sprint wise, it's Elia Viviani in the lead. Mountain wise, it's Dries De Bont. Best young is Xavier Jacobsen, and the best team is us. Big up uh, W52 FC Porto. Okay, tomorrow's stage will be the Queen one. Uh, not between Albufera and Lagos, but between Sagres and Foya. That's it. Uh, it is a very mountainous stage. And I hope I'll see you there. I also hope you've enjoyed this first episode. It's a kind of a new thing to do continental races. As I said, if you want me to do more of them, let me know in the comments uh, with which team and why. And uh, I'll take your suggestions. But yeah, I'll see you very soon. I have been Black Horse. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm leading. But the mother man need feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from feeling. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bear. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in the drip and sip, blockbuster. buster.